So I'm Brad. I'm Kendra. I'm Morgan. I'm Uman. And we're at Ayu's Convenience Store. Ayu's Convenience Store is a delivery service of toiletries to students living in the Wabash building. We sell quality toiletries such as hand soap, paper towels, and toilet paper at a more affordable price than retail outlets in the downtown area. We also offer free delivery. We are currently only serving the Wabash building, but we hope to move to other residence hall locations in the downtown area later. Um, we built our business on the uh, three important goals of convenience, time, and expense. Um, and those are the three ideas that helped us um, basically start out the business. Uh, I used to be an RA at a residence hall called Row, and some of the people in our group are in, a, uh, are in the Wabash residence hall right now. And we all know that uh, when we run out of toiletries, it really isn't planned. So we wanted to be uh, around when students needed that, um, that service immediately. Um, we also run on the, uh, on the goal of uh, saving students a lot of money. Um, because of the fact that we live in the downtown area, toiletries are more expensive than um, other neighborhoods that are outside of downtown. So we wanted to buy our products in bulk and uh, sell it to students at a discounted price because of that. It's definitely hard working in a group. And before we even started selling our products and before we even divided out tasks, our team experienced group conflict. Um, there's a little bit of miscommunication to begin with. Um, because of just the fact that we didn't lay out expectations perfectly, um, but that happens with pretty much every team. We developed tasks based on what we felt we needed uh, to make our business successful. Uh, and the first thing that I did personally was research um, toiletry products in the downtown area to see if our business could be profitable to begin with, um, and we found out that it could be. And although we all took part in marketing our business, um, I was in charge of making the flyers and keeping up our Facebook and our Twitter account. As I was able to design a logo and I created a brochure for the company. What I was assigned was to um, keep an inventory of the product that we had. And I was also in charge of deliveries for Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, I believe there's a real need for the service because, I mean, it's kind of a hassle to have to go out whenever you need something, especially if it's not really that close. Um, our potential customers would be the people living in the residence halls, uh, mainly because it's the business is located inside the building. We introduce our products and services by using word of mouth, posting up flyers, uh, emailing students in our class, knocking on people's doors, telling them who we were. Um, we have a website that we develop. We use social media, uh, Facebook and Twitter. Um, we use just about every means that we can think of to get our name out there. The first day that we sold was very difficult. Um, there was more than several times that we knocked on doors. Uh, there was no response or anything. When we were getting our name out there, when we were knocking on doors, people were telling us, it's a great idea, we're definitely going to buy from you, and hey, room service. <laughs> but when we came with our product, the very same people were looking at us like we were crazy, like, are you serious? And some people wouldn't even open the door. And what really surprised me was the fact that the same people that we had spoke to like two days before didn't remember who we were. So... That was a, a huge learning lesson for us. Is it meant that we had to change up our strategy. So some of the costs that it took to start the business was first to buy our toiletries in bulk to begin with. Um, those are our items that we're going to sell back to customers. Um, we also had to sell a couple of um, bookkeeping items like our receipt book. Um, and then we also had to uh, get some presentation items so that if our products actually look um, like they're trustworthy. So uh, one of those items was um, wrapping paper, so it'll, uh, the presentation will look nice, and then we also bought some bags as well. Uh, to determine the prices that we're selling our items at, uh, I researched a lot of prices in the downtown area, 
and all of our prices are either at or below the price that is being sold um, in any store that's in the downtown area. Our net profit is most likely going to be somewhere along the lines of $68 um, if we sell all of a, the initial products that we bought. Um, our profit will be higher if we sell more than what we initially bought and that is what we're hoping will happen. Um, but the least amount of profit that we'll make is that $68 back. What surprised me most about the process was all the little things that came before we can even start selling our products, like getting through the red tape, making sure that we have permission to sell to students, and making sure that we had a policy, making sure that we had a list or a chart to, to, to keep track of all of our buyers and to keep track of our inventory. Um, it's not just, especially when you're working in a group or even by yourself, you don't want to just sell and not have some method of tracking yourselves or some method of keeping track of anything you know and, and it, it it really surprised me all of the work it took just to get to the point of selling. Um, it takes a lot of work to keep up with our company's website um, and to continually keep um, price checking uh, toiletry items um, in our area to make sure that we're staying competitive so it takes a lot more time than I initially thought. Um, and the thing, the most difficult outcome that we had to overcome was that um, it took a while for us to make our first initial order. Um, I'm a bit too optimistic. I thought that it would be really easy to uh, start off our business and to make it profitable within like the first couple of weeks. Um, but I have found that it actually takes a lot more time um, to build relationships with customers. Um, the way that we uh, overcame the obstacle that uh, I found most difficult was that we're still uh, working on building relationship with relationships with customers um, and we're doing that in a variety of different ways. Even though we have all of our marketing, marketing materials out, um, we're still trying to build personal relationships with our customers rather than just hoping that they'll come to us. So how much did we sell totally? Uh, during the first week, we were really disappointed because we only managed to make one sale, and that was a bottle of hand soap for three dollars. And we were sort of stagnant at that for like almost a whole week. After that, we didn't see any participation from the residents, and we were really disappointed. And we sort of discussed how we could change our <clears throat> the way that we uh, marketed our products. So after the implementing new strategies, right now we're, we had an unexpected for you, like unexpected results. We, right now we have $44 and we are all shocked by that because uh, towards the end, of the end of our business, we managed to sell a lot of products and we have a lot of active customers all of them were just willing to welcome us and they were so interested in all of our products and there were even a lot of people who bought huge amounts of products and this was really shocking to us. What I think we failed to execute effectively was how we would present our products to our buyers. Um, we came with this big box of products and it, nothing was packaged neatly. We had it in its original packaging. But we just had to, we have to work on our presentation because presentation is everything. Initially we had a lot of challenges like uh, publicity work and uh, we tried to collect a fairly good number of contacts so that we could keep them posted with email blasts and regular offers and we just worked together as a team to push towards or through those challenges. If we can go back and do something differently, I think what we should have done was test our uh, our store to see if it was even worth going through. I think what we would need to do was really plan ahead more and further the, develop the idea. I'm naturally a quiet person. I'm, I'm an introvert. I like to be to myself a lot and with this experience I 
was forced to network and, and be around large crowds. What I learned about myself, um, I'm a freshman year and I'm majoring in integrated marketing communications. So, so far I've worked on the brochure, the pamphlet, and just all of like the posters. And this is sort of like gave me an orientation towards marketing. And I feel that this whole business experience has just like educated me on, a, on another level. What I've learned about myself is um, that it's important to work as a team. Um, I can't really think of situations or times back in school where uh, there was a major project or anything where we had to work as a team. So I'm kind of used to just working by myself. Uh, the thing that I learned from this business is uh, the most is that uh, keeping up with your business is a 24-hour affair. Um, even though Technically, we meet for class and then we also meet for group uh, business hours. Um, there's a lot of work that happens outside of that. Um, and then the other uh, thing that I learned from this class is that I never really wanted to start a business, um, even with taking this class until I took this class, because it's really exciting to start your own business. <laughs> Just call Aryu's Convenience Store, they deliver right to your door. Aryu's Convenience Store is a delivery service of toiletries to students living in the Wabash building. We sell quality toiletry items such as toilet paper, hand soap, and bath essentials at a more affordable price than retail outlets in the downtown area. Don't wait for your roommates to use all of your toiletries. Call Aryu's Convenience Store now at 1773-850-2521.